This is every Lunchable known to man. And today we're gonna be trying each and every one of them and putting them on a tier list from S to F, S being the best and F being the worst. So the first one we're gonna be trying today is Lunchables Turkey. So it comes with crackers, slices of turkey, chocolate sandwich cookie, which is basically just an Oreo. And then it says processed cheese product. So it's not cheese, it's processed cheese product. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Let's give Lunchables Turkey a try. It's okay. <laughs> I haven't had Lunchables since I was a kid, and this is okay. I think what they're going for is something super plain for kids. I guess it's not made for me because I have a more of a, a distinct palate in terms of what I like. That was the turkey. Let's try one of these Oreos. I, I guess I can't call them Oreos because they're not technically Oreos. They are chocolate sandwich cookie, uh, but let's give it a try. This is better than the rest of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a C just because it's okay. It's not bad, it's not garbage, but it's not particularly good. It's just a simple turkey cheese product sandwich with an Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie was the best part, if I'm being honest, even though it's not real Oreos. Okay, the next one we're gonna be trying is Lunchmate Turkey. Okay, so Lunchmate is smoked turkey breast with Swiss and wheat crackers with a Kit Kat bar. Uh, this sounds way more appealing, uh, like Swiss cheese. And then Kit Kats obviously are better than Oreos if you live on planet Earth. <laughs> this one sounds a little more appealing to me. I love Swiss cheese and Kit Kat. Everyone loves a Kit Kat. Um, Kit Kat is better than Oreo cookies, if we're being perfectly honest here. So we're gonna get a cracker, slice of turkey, Swiss cheese. Let's give it a try, guys. Mmm, mmm. This is considerably better than Lunchables. Good Lord. The Swiss cheese has actual Swiss cheese flavor. The wheat crackers are way better than they sound. The smoked turkey actually tastes like a more of a smoky turkey. I'm not gonna try the Kit Kat because I know what a Kit Kat tastes like. It's a Kit Kat. It's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> what am I here for if I'm not gonna try it? I would say it's, it's bordering B and A, right? It's in between B and A, it's at least B. But I would say with the Kit Kat, with the Kit Kat, this lunch mate is an A. Woo! <laughs> the next one we're gonna be trying is Greenfield Natural Meat Co. Natural Turkey and Cheese Lunch Kit. I guess lunch kit, that's what it's called. I've been racking my mind of, of like what to call everything. I was just gonna call everything Lunchables, but Lunchables is the brand. This is a lunch kit. Okay, <laughs> this looks appetizing. We have chocolate chip cookies. These crackers look more like Ritz. We have turkey and looks like some sort of cheddar cheese. Let's make our sandwich. We got turkey, we got cheese, we got two crackers. I think I like assembling the food as much as eating it. <laughs> I, like, I like to make things, look, it's all so organized, it's so nice. Right, let's give it a try. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. mm. That is tasty. <laughs> <laughs> this Greenfield Natural Meat Co. and the Lunchmate Turkey are both better than Lunchables Turkey. But why does Lunchables get so much praise? The thing that makes this one is the crackers have a distinct saltiness to them. And then of course we have the chocolate chip cookies. Let's try, let's try a couple. Yeah, it loses points for the cookies a little bit. <laughs> it's a very simple cookie, not too sweet. The cookies is the weakest part. Uh, I prefer, much prefer a Kit Kat to these little chocolate chip cookies, but what are you gonna do? I would say this is an A. Um, this is a great little lunch kit. <laughs> so the way that we're gonna be ranking all of these lunch kits is we're gonna be assigning points depending on where it lands on the tier list. S is five points, A is four, three, two, one, and F is zero. Uh, so I'm gonna add up all the points at the end and see which reigns supreme, Lunchables, Lunchmate, or the duo of Schneider's and Greenfield Meat Co. Okay, the next one we're gonna be doing is Lunchables Ham. So we have three hams today. We have Lunchables Ham, Lunchmate Ham, and Greenfield Ham. We're gonna be trying all the hams and seeing which one's the best. Uh, so same thing, you get crackers, you get ham, you get cheese, and the dessert is chocolate chip cookie, uh, which who doesn't like? A good chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so we have our Lunchables ham and cheese turkey. Let's give it a try. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna finish chewing, I'll be right back. Very similar to the turkey in terms of how bland and lack of flavor this is. <laughs> 
I always used to think Lunchables was so good, uh, but this second Lunchable was okay. Um, I'm gonna try the chocolate chip cookie. Let's give it a try. In terms of chocolate chip cookies, it's okay. <laughs> it is no chips ahoy by any means. Okay, Lunchables ham, I'm going to give you a C as well. I can't give it any other ranking. This, this Lunchables ham is a C. Just like the turkey, this is a C. The next lunch kit we're gonna be trying is Lunch Mate ham. So this is very similar to the last one. Instead of turkey, there is ham. The cracker is the same, but this one has a cheddar cheese. Uh, let's give it a try. I'm delicious. <laughs> I think I'm funny, but I'm not. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. For something as simple as cheddar cheese, slices of ham, and crackers, it is surprisingly good. <laughs> um, I guess I'm not going to try the Kit Kat because I know what Kit Kats taste like, right? I can't just eat every Kit Kat. I can. <laughs> I'm going to. I love Kit Kats so much. <laughs> yeah, Kit Kats are delicious. I'm going to give this an A too. Um, this is just as good as the turkey. I'm going to give Lunchmate Ham an A. Uh, this is great. Not amazing, but great. The last of the hams that we have is Greenfield Natural Meat Co. Natural Ham and Cheese Lunch Kit. Uh, so this one comes with, of course, crackers, cheese, and ham meat. Uh, the dessert is a chocolate bear cookie. <laughs> mm, this Greenfield is really good. <laughs> Let's try the chocolate bear cookie. It tastes like the cookie part of an Oreo, just without the cream center. Um, it's not bad, actually. It's better than those chocolate chip cookies from the last ones. Greenfield, Natural Meat Co., Natural Ham and Cheese Lunch Kit. I'm going to give you an A again. <laughs> Uh, so we're going by points. Lunchables has four and Lunchmate eight and Greenfield Schneider eight. Lunchables has been disappointing so far. And the next one we're going to be trying is Lunchables pepperoni pizza. This is where Lunchables might start making a comeback because who doesn't like pizza? And this one also comes with a Kinder Mini, uh, which Kinder Mini is a very, very good chocolate if you've never had Kinder before. Um, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, let's try the pizza. Uh, let's add some pizza sauce. Let's add Add some of the cheese. And then how many slices of pepperoni did they give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, multiples of three. It would be weird if you gave me like seven or eight slices. Nine slices is perfect. Three slices per pizza. Let's see how pepperoni pizza from Lunchables stacks up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is a good pepperoni pizza. It's hard to mess up a pizza. Lunchables, I was not impressed with your turkey and ham, but your pizza is, uh, it's good. And of course, Kinder Mini for dessert. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Kinder Chocolate, of course, is one of the prime best desserts you can have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kinder Chocolate by itself is amazing. Like that last little bite of Kinder Chocolate is so good. However, the pizza was good. And the majority of this lunch kit is pizza. You get three big pizzas, you get like 12, 15 bites of pizza, and then you can get one bite of chocolate. So, so I'm gonna be giving a pepperoni pizza by Lunchables a B. This is considerably better than the turkey or the ham. I was not too impressed with those Lunchables, but your pepperoni pizza, I gotta say is good. Not great, but good. The next Next one we're going to be trying is pepperoni pizza from Lunchmate. So it's the same thing. It comes with three little pizza bread things. You got cheese, tomato sauce, pepperoni, uh, and an Aero Bar. I love a good Aero Bar. It's not quite as good as Kinder Chocolate, but Aero Bar is still good. I buy Aero Bars all the time. <laughs> oh, can I just tell everybody at home how much I'm enjoying making this video right now? And I hope you're enjoying watching too. <laughs> I swear to God, if five-year-old me could see me doing this right now, he would be losing his mind. <laughs> Hi. Let's see how she tastes. It's good. It is a it is a nice little tasty pizza. Yeah, the sauce was the sauce was brown, which was a little a little discouraging because you know 
why is my pizza sauce brown? <laughs> but the flavor is really good. And then we're just, we're just gonna taste the arrow bar now and see if it indeed tastes as good as I know it does. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Lunchables was a B. It was a good pizza. I would say the pizza is slightly better than the Lunchables. However, I would say the Kinder Chocolate is slightly better than the Aero Bar if we're measuring up chocolate and desserts. Uh, but the bulk of it is gonna be pizza. I would say this is a B2. I don't think this is A. I think this is a, a good lunch kit. Not great, not amazing, but good. So the next one we're gonna be trying is Greenfield Natural Pepperoni and Cheese Lunch Kit. I noticed a lot of surprising similarities between this one and the Lunchmate Pepperoni Kit. The bread looks to be identical. Looks like it's made by the exact same company. The cheese looks identical. Looks like it's made by the exact same company. Uh, and the sauce packet is the same exact packet. Looks like it's made by the exact same company. Uh, the pepperoni is different. And then the big downside to this one is that this one does not come with the dessert. There's no chocolate. There's no dessert anywhere. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the bread is the same, the cheese is the same, the sauce looks very similar. The only thing that looks kind of different is this, this looks like real salami, like pepperoni, while the other one looks like artificial lunch made pepperoni. Let's give it a try and see how it is. Uh, it's okay. I don't really care that the bread and the cheese is the same as lunch meat. That's fine. Uh, they probably get their ingredients from the same company. But the big thing that it loses points for is there's no dessert. Where's my dessert, guys? <laughs> I guess they already had cheese, pepperoni sauce, and the bread. And the, but you can just stick a chocolate in there. Come on, Greenfield. I'm sorry, Greenfield. You are C. Um, yeah. Where's my dessert? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the points so far, we have uh, Lunchables has seven, Lunchmate has 11, and Greenfield has 10. Uh, yeah, Greenfield, you, you, got, you lost a point for not giving me a chocolate bar. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. The next lunch kit we're gonna be trying is Lunchables Extra Cheesy Pizza. This looks like identical to the pepperoni one, except instead of pepperoni, they have given us a cheddar cheese. So it's two types of cheese instead of pepperoni. All of this eating Lunchables has made me thirsty, so I decided to get a Coke Zero. I've been addicted to Coke Zeros ever since I tried every soda known to man. Uh, Coke Zero is good for zero calories. I like how the picture, they have like three pizzas stacked on top of each other. Like they're suggesting like that's how you should do it. I should do it like that. <laughs> Let's try Lunchables Extra Cheesy Pizza. Looks all right, right? Looks all right. It's okay. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, this tiny bit of cheddar cheese that they give you compared to the pepperoni, it's the same freaking thing. <laughs> yeah, Lunchables extra cheesy pizza. I'm gonna give a B. Same thing as Lunchables pepperoni pizza. Like, it's the same thing. It's just instead of pepperoni, you get a little bit of cheddar cheese. Okay, uh, the next one we're gonna be trying from Lunchmate is two cheese pizza. So this is the same thing as the Lunchables one we just tried. Instead of pepperoni pizza, you get a little bit of cheddar cheese. Yeah, you got your cheese. Yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try, folks. You do taste the cheddar cheese. This cheddar cheese is definitely more distinct than the Lunchables, but basically it's the same thing. This is a B2. I can't really give it anything better or worse, uh, but it's not an A. This is a B. This is a B. This is the same thing. So we're all done with the Greenfield. We're going to be moving on to the Schneider's lunch kit. Uh, the first Schneider's lunch kit we're going to be trying is Genoa Salami. This almost looks like an adult lunch kit. Uh, there's no dessert. It comes with dry like Italian crackers, 12 slices of salami and six slices of cheese. Uh, Schneider's, this is the first one we're gonna be trying, your Genoa salami. Let's give it a try. That is so good. <laughs> wow. The salami is so good and the cheese is so good. What kind of cheese is it? Ooh, it's Gouda. I'm going to give this an S. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Even without a dessert, this Schneider's, I'm gonna give this an S. This is delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna... 
I can't have more. I know there's more Schneiders to come. I'm gonna have more later. So Lunchables is currently at 10 points. Uh, Lunchmate is at 14 points. And Greenville with Schneiders is at 15 points. Okay, moving on. The next one we're gonna be trying is Lunchables Snackables. Lunchable Snackables. That's a tongue twister. Try saying that three times fast. Lunchable Snackables, Lunchable Snackables, Lunchable Snackables. Pretzels, peanut butter, and chocolate chips. I like all three of those things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the picture, it looks like you're supposed to like dunk the pretzels in the peanut butter and then dunk it in the chocolate chips to like, I don't know, dunk them all together like that, right? You dunk it, you dunk it inside and then let's give it a try. Pretzels are good. Peanut butter is good. The only thing I would say is that the chocolate chips are a little dark, like there are dark chocolate chips, and, and if you put too many, you get the kind of like that darky flavor. Peanut butter is almost always a good thing. <laughs> Not almost always, it is always a good thing. Um, I'm gonna be judging this based on that it's a snack. This is not a meal, it's a little snack. I would say this is an A snack. Lunchables, snackables, pretzels, peanut butter, and chocolate chip is an A. Lunchables, good job. A. <laughs> the next lunch kit we're going to be trying is Lunchmate Nachos with cheddar cheese and salsa and mini chocolate oatmeal cookies. Oh my goodness, those are chocolate oatmeal cookies. I thought they were like slices of sausage. Just look at this and tell me that doesn't look like slices of sausage. Uh, okay, Lunchmate, let's see how your nachos are. The nachos are a little stale. Um, the best before date is not for a couple weeks, so these still should be good. Uh, let's try chocolate oatmeal cookies that look like sausages. Hmm, that's a good oatmeal cookie though. Mm, that is really good. Wow, why is this oatmeal cookie so good? Okay, where to put this now? I'm going to give this a B, simply because the oatmeal cookies were so good. If these nachos weren't so stale, I'd probably give it a little higher, but yeah, these, I, I can't really see myself enjoying these nachos when they're, they're so stale, but these oatmeal cookies are really good. I'm gonna give it a B, probably like a C for the nachos and an A for the cookies, and we're gonna fall somewhere in between. The next lunch kit we're gonna be trying is Schneider's Italian Dry Salami. Uh, so the crackers are the same with this one. Instead of the Genoa Salami, which was the last one we tried, this is Italian Dry Salami, and instead of Gouda cheese, this is a sharp white cheddar. Uh, if this is as good as the last one, I'll be very happy. That's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, the dry salami is just as good as the Genoa salami and the white cheddar cheese, I would say is just as good as the Gouda cheese. Schneiders, you are S again. I don't know why you're not as popular as you are. <laughs> uh, so Lunchables is at 14 points. Uh, Lunch Mate is at 17 points. And Greenfield and Schneiders is at 20 points simply because uh, Schneiders is, is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Lunchables can catch up, guys. Moving on. The next lunch kit we're gonna be trying is Lunchables Snackables Chicken Bites with ranch and ketchup dip. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try one bite with the ketchup and one bite with the ranch and see how it is. It's the good stuff. It's Heinz ketchup. Ah. Mmm, yeah. It's not the ketchup. The ketchup is fine. It's this these chicken bites are soggy. They would be soggy. They've just been sitting in this plastic container. I'm gonna try it with the ranch. See if the ranch is better. The ranch is a little better than the ketchup. The problem is that these chicken bites are very nasty. I had such fond memories of Lunchables when I was a kid and now these Lunchables have ruined me. I bet you if I put them in the oven and toasted them for like 10 minutes, they'd probably be way better. But I'm judging them by how you would eat them. And the way that you would eat them is you just open it up and eat them. And yeah, these Lunchables, Snackables, this is not good. This is like nasty stuff, even with the ketchup and the ranch dressing. I think this is F, guys. Yeah, this is, this is like bad. This is actually bad. The next lunch kit we're gonna be trying is Lunchmate Summer Sausage. So this looks very similar to the turkey and the ham that we had from Lunchmate. Uh, it's crackers, meat, and cheese, like most of these are, with a little Kit Kat. Uh, let's try Lunchmate Summer Sausage. Mm, for being wheat cracker, it is pretty good. Mozzarella cheese and sausage is also good, and it comes with a Kit Kat. I don't really need to try Kit Kat again, do I? Like, I know what Kit Kat tastes like. I'm gonna have a Kit Kat. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to put this on the same level as the turkey and the ham from Lunch Mates. This is very similar to those ones in terms of how good they are. They're not quite as good as the Schneider's one, even with a Kit Kat. I'm going to put this lunch kit as an A. Okay, the next one we're going to be trying is Schneider's Red Wine Salami. Uh, so this looks very similar to the other two. Uh, this is red wine salami instead of Genoa salami and Italian dry salami. Uh, this one is also Gouda cheese, which is like the first one we tried. Do I even need to try this? Can I just give this an S and move on? <laughs> I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Red wine salami, Gouda cheese, and these crackers. Schneider's, you have done yourself. This is, of course, S. <laughs> So the current score is Lunchables with 14, Lunchmate with 21, and the Greenfield Schneider's combo at 25 points. It's no longer a matter of if Greenfield and Schneider is going to win, it's a matter of how many points. Moving on to the last round. The last of the Lunchables that we have is mozzarella sticks with marinara and breadcrumbs. It's cheese sticks that you're supposed to dunk in the sauce and then dunk in the breadcrumbs. Uh, I'm all for trying new ways to eat stuff and cheese sticks is a new way let's give it a try it's 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 not the best <laughs> the marinara sauce and the breadcrumbs you know that flavor goes away quickly and then you're just chewing on a piece of cheese yeah this is not this is not my favorite either uh lunchables i'm very disappointed in you little guy i hope you enjoyed lunchables while you could because as an adult they're not that good <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to give Lunchables, Snackables, Mozzarella Sticks with Marinara and Breadcrumbs. I'm going to give it a D. Okay, the last of the lunch mate we're going to be trying is hot dogs. Three mini wieners, three mini wraps, ketchup, mustard with potato sticks. Uh, oh, they gave me an extra hot dog. They gave me four. They gave me four wieners. I hope there's not some other lunch kit out there that only has two and I stole their wiener because that would be bad. I don't want to take other people's wieners. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, wiener wrap with ketchup and mustard. Let's see how you rank. The wiener flavor grows on you. It gets better as you keep eating it. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, let's try these little potato sticks. Potato sticks are good. Like there's way better chips out there. It's just a plain potato stick. I'm going to give this a, yeah, it was okay. I'm gonna give this a C. Come in the Skinners. You got caught in the rain, Skinners? Skinners, Skinners, we're just eating lunch kits, Skinners. You want a slice of turkey? Okay, the last of the lunch kits we're going to be trying is Schneider's Turkey Breast. The other three were all salami. This is the first turkey we're going to be trying. Let's give it a try. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, this turkey is not as good as the salamis that I tried. Uh, it is still really good. I'm going to give this an A. A strong A. The final score, Lunchables 15, Lunchmate 23, Schneider's and Greenfield 29 points. Thanks for watching. YouTube thinks you'll like this video next. First thing you want to do is you want to toss your pizza. Oh, oh toss that pizza. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay.